Steve Williams and this is Scooter in the Sticks. Today I'm going to be taking a leisurely ride to breakfast with my friend Paul. He's riding his new Primavera Vespa 150 and I'm on my trusty GTS. Each time I get on this scooter Without fail, there's a feeling of elation, joy, just a quiet sense of being that I can't duplicate in any other way. And I've tried. There's something special about riding a scooter. I've talked about it before. People say, oh, don't you get the same thing from riding a motorcycle? And to be honest, I don't. Um, riding a motorcycle is fun, and uh, I really enjoy being on a motorcycle, but there is a difference. On the Vespa, because it's quiet, smooth, uh, twist and go, the machine becomes almost invisible. And I just have this feeling that I'm flying like a bird. And the motorcycle's different. I'm always aware that I'm on a machine, in part because of the sound, the vibrations, and in part because of the shifting and things like that. So it's different. Uh, someone who I share comments with said riding a motorcycle is like being a fighter pilot and that's probably good and while I don't ride like a fighter pilot flies I certainly understand the metaphor for the analogy that uh, it's just uh, a machine that I'm taking control of But I'm glad to be out this morning. It's supposed to get really hot and muggy today. So being out earlier is good. Riding along here, I still feel cool air coming through my jacket. And uh, as I always say to myself, any reason to go for a ride on the Vespa is a good reason. And it doesn't matter whether I'm running to the store or when I used to commute to work or just run down the street to the coffee shop. I get a little injection of satisfaction from being on the scooter. Here we are, Dingle Hello. Thank you. Hi. Looks like they're slim on the cookies. Dreadlocks? Dreadlocks? Yeah. 
Are you gonna start growing dreadlocks? Well, they got a thing here. Still not a hippie. So I figure we're hippies in chaining. Oh, okay. I think it's too late. I'm hungry. You know, waiting all night, huh? Is this a new toolkit we got here? Yeah, it's for show and tell. Uh, it was $2 or $1 at a yards flea market. It has a whole wrench set. What's that? All of SAE or metric? metric yeah, mm -hmm. it's metric. It goes 18 millimeters down to one millimeter. Oh, it's got metric on this end and, and SAE on this end. And I don't know if, how strong they are, if they'll strip out or not. That looks like snap on. Oh, yeah, it says right there. It says snap quality. Off. Snap off. Quality steel, it says. So you know it's quality. <laughs> So this is the almost healthy egg and cheese on a bagel breakfast. Orange juice company. Show and tell tools. And that's it. Breakfast at the Ingle Bean. We'll go the slow way. I have a plan. I have a plan. Okay, I'll follow you. There they are, waiting. Okay, we'll go find the uh, scenic ride home. It'll. S we'll find the scenic ride now. was a nice relaxed breakfast nice ride to breakfast and now we'll just meander home and uh, should get home before it gets too hot for anyone new to scooter riding I think you should uh, Try to dispel your idea that it's something for use in town, in the city. A modern scooter like the Vespa GTS or the Vespa 150s, you can easily ride across the country. When I had my 150, I did many day-long rides that consumed anywhere from 150 to 350 miles and the scooter was perfectly fine doing that extremely comfortable and was so much built-in storage that uh, it's just a pleasant way to ride and after all these years and all the motorcycles I've ridden I still think I like my Vespa scooters best. They're just perfect for wandering around and just uh, taking in the sights. I used to tell people that the reason I uh, became a photographer was it allowed me to be a perpetual tourist and as an assignment photographer rather than a portrait studio guy 
I was always out in the world photographing assignments and just seeing things. The riding a scooter is the exact same experience. That about wraps up this episode of Scooter in the Sticks. Until next time, be well and ride safe. <laughs>